Hi YouTube, SK Lifestyle here with a review on a Thedford Porta Potty 260B. Uh, we just got this in the mail from Amazon and we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. Just going to do a quick overview, show you some of the uh, features that it has, uh, what it looks like, its size, some initial thoughts that I have of it. This is my first uh, portable toilet that we're going to be using in our uh, pop-up camper. Um, so yeah, with that said, let's take a look. Now I did opt for the one with the bilge. The other one has a piston pump. Pretty much the same exact kind of thing. Uh, I would say the Curve, the new one that has the electric uh, water, <laughs> is certainly more of an upgrade. But for this size, I thought the uh, bilge pump was the best way to go for cost wise. All right, so as you may know, there is a lid to the uh, toilet and the toilet seat and you can notice right away that the uh, cap there for the water isn't there but we can see that it's right inside the bowl and it looks like we have some nice instructions to go there too and uh, thankfully Thedford sets us up with a little bit of a solution that we can put inside the uh, portable toilet to uh, keep it fresh when we're using it. I do know that they have other products on Amazon that you can uh, order as well to keep the uh, water on the top fresh and clean and so is the uh, black water on the bottom in the uh, holding tank. So taking a look here we can see that there's the black uh, doorway to the uh, holding tank at the bottom. Now Thedford does say that this should be uh, leak proof and as well as smell proof. Now of course I doubt anything can be a hundred percent and of course when you open and close this thing uh, you know, fumes can come in and out. So I'm guessing that's why they provide us with some of that uh, trusty solution over there. Now, if I am correct, this is a two and a half gallon fresh water tank here on the top. And I believe it's the same on the bottom, two and a half gallons uh, for the holding tank. Here's the bilge pump here. And it's pretty basic. You just push it. And of course, you know, it just uh, forces the water out through the tank uh, right here we can see is where the water will eject and obviously go into the bowl and The way you want to use that is just put a little bit of water in the bowl before you use it You know do your business hit it a couple times and then you go ahead and flush right here on the bottom All right, so coming around the back you can see that there's a nice handle to carry it when uh, you're going to the gray station to dump and we also have a latch here now you just push this and this whole top piece just pops right off nice and clean you can see obviously there's an opening in the top piece but if we take a look down here this black piece is still closed so that's what I like about this thing it's supposed to be self-contained so we're not worried about things leaking out or dripping and of course you know even having to deal with this whole situation you know, we're camping, we know what to expect, what to deal with, but it's a gross situation. Nobody really wants to have to deal with it. So the cleaner things can be, absolutely a lot better, absolutely. So go ahead and open this here. And here's the top to our water tank. It's on nice right there. And we have another piece. And that's a cap to this piece right here. Now, what's gonna happen is, and I'll screw this on real quick. So, we have our toilet. You know, it's on, we use it. Okay, then we take it off. And say this thing's full, we're ready to dump it. Well, it doesn't come out of the hole that it went in. It comes out of this reservoir right here. So you just, twist this around and you have your handle here that you can hold on to and we press this button and that relieves pressure inside the container so when you're pouring it out this way and dumping it there's not a lot of um, splashing going on and so forth 
So don't forget to use this button. It will really help you out. I'm sure after the first time you don't use it, you'll probably remember to use it from there on out. But you know, that's how things go. And yeah, and it's that simple. Then of course, when you're done, you'd put some water in here, swish it around and dump it out. And that's pretty much it. And for the next part, uh, what I'm gonna do is just fill up the toilet with a little bit of water and uh, just grab some Kool-Aid or something and pour it in as if we're doing our business and just show you how the thing works real quick. Before I go into uh, using the actual toilet, uh, just so you know, the bottle that they bring uh, inside of the container is called EcoSmart. And it looks like this uh, is for the top holding tank. Now I have seen uh, some other products that you can also add to the bottom holding tank. Um, and especially if you're going to do uh, number two in the in the porta potty, then you'll probably definitely want it or going extended periods of time uh, without dumping it. Um, but my guess is if you're just doing overnight use and then dumping it uh, during the day, uh, probably the top holding tank uh, solution should be satisfactory. Um, so with that said, let's just go right into it. So again, like I said, this is the uh, holding tank itself here and here's the top. So I'll take off the, the cap and I just have obviously some fresh water and you can use a hose or a cup or however you want to do it and just pour it right in. All right, put our cap back on. Now that we have some water in there, come over here and if you push the bilge, of course, you need to pump a few times to get water into the system. But now water's in there, so. And again, you wanna do this a couple times just to add water into the bowl, so at least some fresh water is going into the uh, holding tank below. And I'll just do it one more time. And you can see there, if you push it down all the way, it swings around the bowl and kinda gets all the way around. Now I've heard some people say that um, it's not strong enough to move toilet paper that's stuck to the inside of the bowl. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you take an extra uh, glass of water on the side and pour it around just to flush it or just make sure that the uh, tissue paper goes directly uh, into the whole area beforehand. So I have some uh, water here or some flavored drink and I'm just gonna pour it in uh, obviously to simulate So we've added water into the uh, bowl. Uh, we've had the red cup do its business and now it's time to uh, have this thing flush. And I'll just pull the handle down here. So as you can see, the bowl is clear And then you're all set. Now you have everything in your holding tank and you're ready to dispose of it whenever you want. Of course, it says this thing can do up to about 25 flushes. So that's more than enough to be able to go a night or two. Um, in my case, we'll probably just dump it every night. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that process right now. All right, YouTube. So here, obviously we have our uh, bottom half with the uh, black water in it and <clears throat> Again, what we're going to do is press this button as we dump this piece here. So you want to swing it out. All right. And notice there's not water up in here. There's no debris or dirtiness and stuff. Obviously, it's only been used once, but you can tell it's pretty, pretty uh, uh, clean as far as I'm concerned. I mean, you can see like maybe one drop of water on the black thing. So I'm going to undo this piece. So we're gonna press this button back here and tilt it over. And if you see it, if you saw that, I poured it all out, but there was still some in there. I mean, you could tell this container is a few different shapes in there. Uh, it's not just one big box, so. I'm gonna tilt it around a bit. There we go. And what you'll do at that point is fill this up with water and uh, swish it around there 
and then uh, dump it back out. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so I filled some water back up uh, via this uh, nozzle right here. And you just want to shake it around. And honestly, if you're really going to do it, um, and not for a video, and it's been used, you know, I'd pour the water in there. I'd turn this around. Shake it around. And my guess is you probably want to put like, you know, a quarter to a half gallon of water in there. Um, just to make sure there's enough to really rinse everything back out. And then, of course, just take the uh, cover off once more and just pour it out. Okay, YouTube, so wrapping up here, uh, we just finished dumping the uh, holding tank. And we're just going to slide this back on here. Just want to tilt the front end just a little and then push down the back and it snaps right in place. And that's pretty much it. So now I'll just go ahead and demonstrate uh, sitting on top of the toilet just so you can get an idea of what a full size adult looks like when they're sitting on one of these. And yes, I will keep my shorts on. <laughs> now I'm almost 5'11". And this is what I look like right here. So it's pretty comfortable. Um, it's not exactly like being at your home um, and using a home toilet but it's not that much different. And of course, you're only gonna be using it for a few moments. Uh, so I definitely think it's satisfactory. And of course, you know, using it in something like a uh, pop-up camper, you don't want something very large to begin with. So I'm glad I went with Thedford. It seems like they uh, are the best in the industry for uh, portable toilets. And this little guy right here should fit in our pop-up camper nicely. If you guys have any questions or comments, of course, uh, leave those and I'll certainly uh, try to answer back as fast as I can. And of course, please subscribe. I have a lot of great videos uh, of travel and reviews coming up and also giveaways. So be sure to subscribe and uh, thanks again, YouTube.